Michaelia Cash has spoken in Sydney ahead of the Labor leader's speech. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Australians have the right to be sceptical uh, when they hear Anthony Albanese talk about job creation and a strong economy. Uh, Australians will recall that just a few months ago, Anthony Albanese was enthusiastically campaigning to impose an additional $387 billion of taxes on the Australian people and the economy. Imagine the devastating effect that would have on job creation. Labor also does not have a good track record when it comes to job creation when in government. When Labor were elected to office in 2007, the coalition government had reduced employment, unemployment to 4.4 per cent. When Labor left office in 2013, the unemployment rate was 5.7 per cent and it was rising. But on top of that, there were almost 55,000 young people less in work under Labor. That is a record in government by Labor of job destruction, not job creation. And of course, when it comes to apprentices, let's have a look at Labor's record when they were last in government. They oversaw the biggest fall in apprenticeship numbers of 110,000. Why? because they ripped $1.2 billion of employer incentives out of the system. And they're still wedded to, as we know, Labor stalwart Senator Kim Carr has reaffirmed that the policies that the Labor Party took to the last election were the right policies. And as everybody knows, Labor Senator, Labor stalwart Kim Carr, he is not the only one who believes that. They were, of course, job-destroying policies that would have impacted on all Australians. Contrast that with the Coalition's record. Since we were elected to office in 2013, the economy has generated almost 1.5 million jobs. In September of this year, the Coalition's policies saw 36 months of continual job creation. That is the most number of jobs creation on a month-by-month -month basis in Australia's history. And of course, when it comes to manufacturing, something else uh, that Anthony Albanese has been talking about and will talk about this afternoon.